Hey YouTube, I have a normal video. Can this is yet another commentary for the Total War Shogun 2 battle? Unfortunately, I couldn't make this a live commentary because when I played this battle, people in my house were asleep and it wouldn't, be a, it wouldn't have been too kind to wake them up, you know. But in any case, we're playing on the Hida Mountains and uh, my opponent is um, Oliver. And my army is composed by four units of bow warrior monks. Unfortunately, one of these units is not a veteran unit uh, and they're not my best units besides this one, which is probably my highest level one. And uh, I, it was really a good idea to uninstall some crap because now I, my recording is going way smoother. And uh, the rest of my army is composed by one unit of Yashigaru, one unit of uh, Metro Warrior Monks, and some um, Long Sword Shigaru along with a unit of uh, uh, Katana Samurai, which I I just got them because my opponent instantly clicked on ready, and so I had to I had to build my army from scratch, and so I was kind of uh, in a hurry. The way my opponent is using a pretty uh, effective tactic when the opponents fall for it. Opponent falls for it. Sorry. Which basically, you know, he has uh, lots of muskets. He got a uh, level 4 unit of Matchlock Warrior Monks, level 2 Matchlock Warrior Monks, level 5 Matchlock Warrior Monks, level 3 Matchlock Warrior Monks, and I, I could have swore, I could swear it was, yeah, yeah. And a level 5 unit of Heavy Garners. Now, I don't really know why, but even if Heavy Garners uh, were released only with the latest DLC, uh, lots of people have went to high level, and I really wonder why. So they're certainly not overpowered, I mean. People level them up, paying them before the match of warrior monks. <laughs> I guess why. I wonder why. Whatever. But they look cool, so here we are. In any case, my opponent's tactic, as I was telling you, is pretty obvious. And it's actually obvious from the beginning when I saw its, uh, his army build. He basically is gonna camp inside this wood with all of his muskets. By the way, look at these nicely colored dudes. And uh, his plan is probably to make me waste ammo uh, with my archers because if I shoot muskets or if well pretty much anyone uh, while they're staying to the woods I'm gonna do just minimal damage and basically waste uh, arrows and I noticed that I couldn't really beat him to the woods and even if I had beaten him to the woods it would have just been a, um, a stupid thing to do because uh, we would have been um, in close range and you don't want to fight muskets at close range really that's when when we excel so instead I'm letting him conquer this, uh, this shrine. It's a, it's a tough one for me, but I, I I simply couldn't force him while I was in the woods. Because in this game woods are like the best of strongholds. <laughs> really you just stay here, you fire from the inside and anything coming from the outside is not gonna harm you. Oh yeah, sorry I forgot to tell you that I have um, three units of Eden Cavalry and I was actually concerned that my opponent could have had Eden Cavalry as well. But uh, it, uh, it turned out it didn't have it didn't have any. So what you saw at the beginning, all that infantry was basically everything that he had. Oh, uh, and basically, by the way, he had some spears uh, and some swords. Uh, but really, the uh, the best his best units were the musketeers. He's got some katana samurai. Let's give a look at the for outfits. A pretty bland outfit actually. You know, with steel and and black uh, clothes. Oh well. And here I'm actually moving my cavalry back because I, I thought that if he had any cavalry, he could have um, he could have walked them all the way through here, and he could they could have been sneaking at my back. This is the reason why I put these guys here, my spearmen and my and my matchlocks. I feared a cavalry attack from a flank, but that never came. And now my opponent was probably tired of waiting. And uh, you know, you, you, this may be called camping on my part, but really, would you have charged into those woods? Knowing that he had like one, two, three, four, five. What was the sixth one? I could have sworn he had six. Five units of musketeers waiting for you? I don't think so. And here I am, uh, my men are starting firing, and I'm gonna make sure that they, uh, they fire at the, at the matchlocks and not at some other random units. But that's not, uh, that wasn't a necessary caution because he's sending his matchlocks. Matchlocks forward, and I was making them run finally because they were working previously. And uh, look at this unit; yes, it was, it's already at half strength. Matchlock, I mean, bow warrior monks are kind of cool and very effective against uh, against matchlock, uni matchlock units, especially when they march on this kind of formation. I don't know; I really don't know why these units are on scatter, but really, it doesn't matter. Now it starts; it starts to fire, but. 
it's a bad move on his part uh, because matchlocks were not really made to to skirmish with uh, with archers in open formation. Lots of his shots are missing, and plus his uh, his low reloading time means that it's not it's not really gonna win skirmish. It's really impossible for him to win, as you can see, he lost uh, two units already. And uh, he's over here for some reason, he's intact. I probably wasn't targeting him, I don't know. And now I'm retreating my archers because he's 74 all of his melee infantry. His melee infantry is not upgraded, by the way, but they are kind of similar. So they are kind of tough for me, but I only have, uh, um, you know, long swords, I should grab some katana similar as well. Luckily, I have the advantage of terrain, but still really a bad position for me and my muskets are well so hill positioned I took out my my cavalry but the problem is that the position is is uh, bleh, is uh, spears quite well as you can see luckily his planks were was uncovered but I had to run a good deal of distance before getting getting here and as you can see my units are actually getting pounded I have some unknown debuff and finally my mana started to fire into that melee but yeah I was trying to get his general which is presently the target of my of all my archers but I ran into his spears I also got this unit of metro warrior monks who were was was saved uh, from my my archers and now I got my cavalry is back and my muskets firing at his uh, at his infantry his infantry was surrounding me which, which is actually a good thing for me, in fact it's surrounding me because it means that I am less likely to aid my own troops firing from behind them. And as you can see things are turning into my favor because I, uh, all of his flags are blinking. He got some uh, Yaria Shigeru to get my cab, but I don't really mind. I really don't mind. And also firing with his uh, heavy gunners here, a big mistake because heavy gunners have a very high penetration and since there are so many of his men into his melee, it basically means he was shooting really more of his men than, uh, than my own. And so the melee was won. You know, with sacrifice of uh, lots of longsword Ashigaru. And here he's just sending his general in because it's his last unit and he wants to do some heroic death. I mean, look at the dead bodies here. That was a carnage. Lots of dead horses do. So this is basically the end of a battle. I think my opponent really made a big mistake. I can't remember my opponent rank, but I'm almost sure he was rank 10. And uh, at rank 10, bringing just matchlocks as your ranged units is, in my opinion, a very tough gamble because pretty much everyone brings, uh, brings 3, 4, 5, 11 units of uh, warrior monks at rank 10. And uh, he probably chose. I don't really think he chose his build um, after looking at the map, knowing that was uh, that wood in the middle. Because he instantly clicked on ready, so he had it uh, already ready. <laughs> Sorry for this joke. And uh, he had also made a big mistake of uh, targeting my archers with his match locks. He should have targeted the infantry that was standing behind them because he, he can't really skirmish with, uh, with archers using the match locks because the archers would be in the open formation, taking fewer losses, and uh, your men are going to be vulnerable to the arrows. Because the arrows are, the accuracy is the accuracy, ah, the accuracy is actually a bit lower, but they reload much much faster, and so you're just gonna fall and uh, and die horribly. Not to mention the fact that when you reach uh, when you might get into range, uh, your units already lost some part of uh, their forces because the archers have a longer range, particularly if you have uh, warrior monks. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. Ciao ragazzi. Oh, and I forgot to say good game to my opponents. <laughs>